Teen Tragedy Songs. That was uh, Teen Angel by Mark Dining, which was a great hit. And uh, there's so many great doo-wop and 50s songs that are all Teen Tragedy Songs where somebody does something stupid and ends up dying. And um, I can only assume that these songs are an extension of the Appalachian Death Ballads from the country music, which I also love. Um, songs like Endless Sleep by Jody Reynolds, which is just fantastic. Tell Laura I Love Her by Ray Peterson. Or... Uh, Running Bear by Johnny Preston or The Last Kiss by J. Frank Wilson and the Cavaliers, which is a Wayne Cochran song, actually. Um, so when Beck came to Three Blue Teardrops and said she wanted to put a 45 out, I started thinking, well, gee, I need to come up with some originals for this. And uh, I started going back through my folio of songs, and I was looking for a song that I had started writing 25 years ago. I had a girlfriend who loved all those teen tragedy songs, and... Uh, she said, I just love those morbid teenage love songs. And the way she said morbid teenage love song really stuck in my head. So I started writing a song called Morbid Teenage Love Song. And um, I wrote it all out and I had it and I, li I liked the chorus. But the song was terrible. It wasn't very good. So I ended up just throwing it in a folder and forgetting about it. And every eight, seven, eight years I take it out. I try to rework it, try to fix it. And I never got anywhere with it. And it just, I, back into the folder it would go. And... I forget about it. So when Beck said she wanted to put a 45 out, I, I, I pulled this, tried to find this song to rework it, and I couldn't find it. It was gone. I, could, I lost the lyrics. I couldn't remember the verses, but I remembered the chorus, which was the part that I liked. So I ended up rewriting the whole song, and it was much better. I fixed everything that was wrong with it and made a demo of it and sent it to her, not thinking that she would really like it. But she said, oh, I love this song. You've got to do it. And... Um, I thought, okay, so I sent it to my bandmates, because the song's kind of goofy, it's a spoof, it's an homage, and um, they were like, oh my god, this song's hilarious, you've got it, we've got to do it. So um, so we did, so we went to Alex Hall, to Reliable Recorders here in Chicago, and we, we laid this song down, and we had some backup singers, um, this woman that I met at a Jester's gig, she uh, sang backup for Frankie Avalon, so um, I thought, you know, it would be great if we're doing this teenage song we had you know one of Frank Frankie Avalon who was one of the most famous teenagers from back in the day uh, had her come in and sing backups on it so so we did so we recorded it and we put it out and it's coming out on Swell Tune Records it's called Morbid Teenage Love Song it's on the backside of Ball and Jack by Three Blue Teardrops written by me and us and you have a great day and pick up that Swell Tune release will ya? Bye!